Hi, we're live at MRMW Berlin. This is Simak. Hello. And who do you work for, Simak? A uh, company called Journey HQ, mm -hmm. which is a new venture with our partners. Uh, the, the Nursery Research and Planning and Ethos, which mm -hmm. is my company and also the first mobile ethnography app. Okay, can, you, can you say a little bit about, uh, a little bit about Ethos? Sure. Well, Ethos um, was built in response to the fact that we needed a tool to make ethnographic research, which is what I've always done since my days in the planning with James Johnson, a more accessible um, service for science because it's, yeah. it's incredibly expensive to do. And we needed to find a way of making it more accessible. So going on, going on mobile yeah. was the way we did that. And we created um, a platform that enabled tasks to be pushed out to participants who would then capture uh, using different media events that sort of happened. This was a task based, and we knew that there was more that we could be doing. And that's where Journey HQ came from. Because with Journey HQ, which um, has gone live today, um, we spent a year developing it. We've removed the researcher effect, so we don't have tasks. We are also capturing journeys, and we are tracking emotions, influences uh, of people as they go about their everyday lives. So how do you mean? Can you give me a little more insight? Well, instead of tasks, we have contexts in which things happen. So because we don't want to influence people, we record them on the basis of Let's say they're buying a new car. Yeah. They're looking at buying a new car. And we then provide categories in which they might think about buying a new car. So it might be a showroom, it might be with friends, it might be um, going online, all sorts of maybe six, seven, or eight different contexts. And people will capture content and drop it into those contexts for us. And we can then do co-discoveries by capturing the events that we want to probe further, putting them into a kind of playlist on the platform, right. and pushing them out to participants and saying, can you explain what's going on here? Okay. Yeah. But the point of it is that we're not actually interrupting or disrupting in any way mm -hmm. the journey itself. And that has given us data we've never seen before. Because up to now it's all been task based. Mm -hmm. Now it's people capturing stuff on their own terms. And some of it is like, uh, are like tweets, some of them are very short tweets, yeah. nudges, pushes out of context. Nonetheless, they, they're forming the kind of scaffold mm -hmm. within which their influences and behavior changes are actively designed. So we're getting new, new types of data in the next step. Um, and we were talking about that conference? Or? I was. We, we were actually, we, we showcased this with uh, a client. Yeah. We enabled the case study by his client. It was buying chambers and ethics. Okay. Capturing traffic journeys to merchants. So, if somebody wanted to get in touch with you um, after they'd seen you at the conference, what, how would they do that? Well, they can um, get my details and email me. Okay. Um, what was the website? It's journeyhq, it's all one word, yeah. .com. And are you going to be at any other conferences over the next year? Um, I will be. There's, there's three or four that we're looking at doing, but um, I haven't settled on them yet. There won't be, actually, there won't be any more this year. The next year we've got at least two. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, fantastic. Thanks so much for doing that. Pleasure. Um,